Today is a great day for democracy in Alberta. For too long, elections in Alberta have been run under a system that takes power away from the ordinary people and places it in the hands of the wealthy and the well-connected. $15,000 contributions each year and $30,000 in an election year is wrong. An election spending free for all for political parties is wrong. And a flood of political advertising from anonymous special interest groups is wrong. If passed, the Fair Elections Financing Act will ensure that Albertans have a fair, democratic, and modern electoral financing system that puts their interests first. It would make much needed changes to the rules in three main areas, contribution limits, spending limits, and political advertising. First, to keep big money out of politics and prevent wealthy donors from influencing elections, individuals would now only be allowed to contribute a maximum of $4,000 per calendar year. That limit includes any money going to any combination of parties, constituency associations, candidates, leadership contestants, and nomination contestants. This limit is reasonable and ensures that no single individual has significant influence over a political party, candidate, or contestant. If passed, Alberta's political parties would be subject to a $2 million spending limit from writ dropped to the close of polls. There will be a spending limit of $50,000 for candidates in each electoral division. New contribution and spending limits will mean that the candidate will now only need three donors to bankroll their entire campaign. What's even more concerning is that this government has failed to yet again put any restrictions on government advertisement during both general and by-election periods. Wild Rose introduced Bill 203, Restrictions on Government Advertisement Amendment Act 2015, and we are disappointed that the government has not recognized the public purse is big money in the political <coughs> process. It's concerning to see Alberta move closer in line with the Ontario model of campaign financing, where third-party advertisers have spent $15 million over the last three elections, completely overshadowing the political party expenditures. This bill's repeal of current contribution limits for third-party advertisers may just do that.